Hello everyone, in today's video I want to talk about Civilization, but I'm not just going to be talking about Civilization 6, we're going to talk about Civilization 6, 5, 4, and 3, and even 2 for that matter, we're going to talk about 2 too. So I noticed with this set of 5 games, and Civilization 1 and 2 I think are interchangeable, with this set of 5 games of Civilization, what's interesting me more and more as I kind of play through and you know remember I'm even Revolution, is that there's a civilization game for everyone. And what I mean by that is you have the two hexagon... Oh, we're not going to talk about Beyond Earth because it was a bad game. But you have two hexagon-based civilization games. And then you have, if you include Revolution, four square-based games. And along with that, you have a quick-to-play one. You have uh, complicated ones. Some are more complicated than others. And you have some with different systems. You have the ones that have the defensive units and offensive units. You have the ones where when you do combat, you just go and go and go until someone dies. You have the ones where you can have a civil war with Civ 2. You have the easily customizable one, which is Civilization 2. The graphics engine literally, I think, is MS Paint. I don't know exactly what the graphics engine is, but you can make models in MS Paint for that game. So it seems like there's a Civilization game for everyone, when it comes to, you know, maybe, you know, you like Civ 3 because you can make stacks of units and the worlds are really big in Civ 3. Civ 3 has humongous worlds. And maybe you liked the trading system better in Civ 3. You know, maybe you liked how you had to actually go through the entire ancient era before you go to the next one. If that's your thing, boom, there's Civ 3 for you. If you like a little bit of a faster, more casual play style, then maybe Civilization VI is your deal. If you want it to be hardcore and you're managing stuff and it's a very risky game, you go with Civ II. You know, there's all these different options you have. And even Civilization IV, I haven't played a lot of it, but I have played the DLC where you play as the um, American colonists and you have to revolt and beat back the British Empire. That's a cool, that is a cool DLC, and I, it, it adds another element to it. Civilization 3 has its campaigns, and 2 has its campaigns. All these, all these Civ games have scenarios and campaigns. You have the pre-made ones, Civilization 2 and 3 have pre-made ones. Civilization 6 doesn't really have pre-made ones, but I think it, or it might have pre-made ones. I don't know, if, I've never tried them out. But I just think that there's an awesome collection of Civilization games right now. And I like how you can pick one, and then you can pick another one and have different experiences with it. I think that is great game design right there. You know, making it so, instead of the earlier Civilization games being outdated, they are still very much playable games. And it always helps to have the modding communities now. Using the internet to, like, make it so you can mod a game, I mean... If you think about it, these Civ games are so easy to mod, even if, you know, not just swapping character models out, just tweaking numbers and technology costs alone, and switching technologies around, like, that's easy to do, it seems, more so than you would expect other games to be. So there's always, there's a Civilization game for everyone. Me, personally, I like Civilization, um, I would say 3 the most. 3 was just, to me, was, mm. Mm. And then, if I had to pick a second, it would probably be Civilization V or six. I'm I'm all I'm deciding between five and six. I don't know. I think probably more so towards six, just because the district system I think is really cool. Let me know what your favorite Civilization game is in the comments below. How would you rank all of them? I know the bottom of the barrel would definitely be Beyond Earth. That game was so bad. I am so sad that I wasted money on that game. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Pacific the Castle Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And don't buy Civilization Beyond Earth. It's a bad game. Buy even Civ 1 if you have to. Don't buy Beyond Earth. 